what's up you guys i'm clever little imp and welcome to harvest fest um i think we were supposed to be delivering some sandwiches hi dad i love the farmer's oil i'm gonna stock up on it you like it too right lucy uh sure it's all the same to me ah no not at all i'll prove it to you i'll cook my finest dish just wait and see sure He didn't show up, did he? Nah, he must still be locked up in his cellar. He didn't even open the store today. He knows full well that the Harvest Festival is the most important gathering of the year. He caused us a lot of trouble by closing today. I think we should look for another baker. Yeah, that would be wise. There's no respect anymore. Indeed. I better not. It's rude to sing during important events. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, you realize uh, he did just lose a kid, right? Um, excuse me. Would you like a sandwich? Yes, Lucy. Thank you. Do you want a sandwich? No. Okay. No respect for... No, res no one respects rules in this town anymore. That's why people keep disappearing, wicked youth. Okay. Do you want a sandwich, though? Um, excuse me, would you like a sandwich? Look, it's Eloise's daughter. Another one who doesn't give a damn about the rules and just wastes her time singing. Kid, you should listen more to your father. He knows what he's talking about. Luckily, there's still husbands like him. That woman doesn't know what respect is. What the hell are you talking about? Hmm. You want a sandwich, old man? I don't want to talk to them anymore. That's fair. I don't want to talk to them either. Wackos. Your family's apple juice is always wonderful. Uh, thank you. We make sandwiches too. Would you like one? Oh, no, no. Absolutely not. I have to be careful about what I eat or I'll get heartburn. Thank you, though, sweetie. I see. Okay. I like that guy. So I was locked out of my own house for the entire day. Oh, my. I'm so glad Lucy found it. I wouldn't have been ready for the festival in time. I mean... Would you like a sandwich? Oh dear, thank you so much. I'm not really sure who this festival is for, when you think about it, because, like, we're all in the same village and apparently can't leave. What are you doing? I'm displaying my car of pumpkins. But they're all crooked and ugly. No one will want to get close enough to buy them. Then they're working just fine! <laughs> um, but I got closer? That's why I said they're working! What? <laughs> Do you want a sandwich? No? Okay. Crazy grandma. Anyway, they've got like these little booths and stuff set up, but like... When it comes to flowers, Olivia's the best. She always has new ones to show off. Even if the ones she used this year... Well, they're not my favorite. Last year's were more col colorful. I mean... Is it just a gathering? Are you trying to sell stuff? This year we're offering sandwiches and apple juice. This table's empty. I guess it was supposed to be the baker. Hi, woodsman. Oh. Okay. What do you got? The woodworker has many hobbies, but everyone always talks about his maple syrup. I wonder what ingredients he uses. Bah. I think, um, make I think making instruments is more useful. Puppy! He's sleeping soundly. He was more fun when he was a puppy. You want a sandwich, Mr. Woodman? Excuse me, would you like a sandwich? Mmm, thank you. Okay, so I've got one more left. Cheese! Yummy cheese, fresh cheese, aged cheese, blue cheese! Wow, 
Wow, Lucy, those look delicious. Can I have one? No, they're for the adults. I'll come play when I'm done. Okay, see you later. I mean, I don't... Does the puppy want it? Oh, wait, I can actually give the dog a sandwich? <laughs> I've got something for you. Sleep well. <laughs> That's cute. Wonder what kind of sandwich it is, though. Wait, I can go behind them? Perfect, Lucy. Go now go play with your friends. I didn't realize I could walk behind that bench. And if you listen carefully, you can still hear the gurgling of the monster who lives in the well. <laughs> I'm sure it's just your stomach. There's no monster. Stop it, Red. It really scared me. Go on and tell us a story then, since you're so brave. Ooh, yes. I've got a perfect story, but first, I want to hear one from the girls. Come on, Raven. It's your turn. I... I don't know any. I don't spend my time making up stories. Huh. Sunny, it's your turn then. P but scary stories... are scary? Okay, I know one. Ooh, interesting. Let's hear. Thank you, Lucy. W well... This is the story of Redhead Timmy. A long time ago, before any of us was born, a kid named Timmy lived in town. He was a red-headed little rascal who really enjoyed making trouble and stealing corn cobs, hiding shoes, playing pipes. Uh, stealing corn cobs. It sounds the most bizarre. Stealing corn cobs from cemetery, the shoemaker shop, the farmer's field. Farmer's field, obviously. The farmer's field. One day, the farmer, tired of Timmy's pranks, decided to place a bear trap. A bear trap! That doesn't make any sense. I think I got confused. Let me restart. A long time ago, before any of us was born, a kid named Timmy, Timmy lived in town. He was a red-headed little rascal, really enjoyed making trouble, and... Oh, so I actually have to... Okay. Stealing corn cobs from the farmer's field... One day, the farmer, tired of Timmy's pranks, decided to place a scarecrow. Only it wasn't a scarecrow. It was special. He said it could keep annoying kids away. A week passed by, and the pranks finally stopped. The cobs were safe, but Timmy, unfortunately, disappeared. Today, the special scarecrow is still there, in the old farmer's field. They say that those who get close enough and look carefully, they can see that it is not a scarecrow, but Redheaded Timmy! Ah! That's so disturbing. I want to know where the bear trap was going, though. L Lucy, w where did you hear that story? <laughs> not bad, Lucy, not bad. But it's my turn now. Have you ever heard the true story of the forest? But you don't know all the details. And you do? Ooh, trust me, I have my ways. I've been told that when people are taken by monsters, they get dragged into the forest in the dark, and then they're tortured for weeks. They tear people apart piece by piece. They eat the eyes first, then they go for the nails, then toes. T -t toes Yes, and fingers too, one by one. Then, they end with the tastiest part. BRAINS! Red, keep it down! Uh, I... Red! You know there's no shouting aloud. Go home, now! Was that my dad? He always has to go overboard. Where's Blue? Blue? See? Blue's crying now. I don't know if I would have said sigh sigh as crying. His uncle disappeared in the forest some time ago. Red always talks too much. Aw, oh, poor buddy.
Lucy? Lucy? Lucy, honey, are you listening? Ah, yeah, sorry, I got distracted. Let's try this last section again, okay? Let me hear the last song we learned. I got a note. Your voice is wonderful, Lucy. Mom, why don't the others ever sing like you do? Well, Lucy, your mom doesn't sing a lot in public, but I think you should feel free to do it. Mm. Red was kicked out of the festival today because he got a little carried away, as usual. I know that shouting is forbidden. There are a lot of stories about it, but the town looks so... gloomy. Wouldn't it be so much better if they all sang with us? It's hard to explain. You know, sometimes fear can take your voice away. But if you want, there are so many songs I'd like to teach you. Of course, I love singing with you. Oh my, it's so late. I had to bring back Olivia's basket this afternoon. We'll continue tomorrow, okay? Mm. Can you watch over the soup while I'm away? Don't let it burn. It's gonna burn. Thanks, honey. Tell Dad when he's done in the cellar. See you later. Isn't it dark out, though? Wasn't that like a thing? You're not supposed to go out at dark? Okay, I'm done. Smells good. Oh, Lucy. Are you alone? Where's Mom? She went to return Olivia's basket. Eh, now? But outside, it's... How long has it been, Lucy? Uh, I... I didn't realize. I think it's been... a while? It's... already dark? Dad, dad That night, Eloise never came back home. Okay, but I got a note for that, so, you know, totally fine. That traumatized it all. Chapter 3. I didn't realize we were in Chapter 2. Mom? Mom? Where are you? Where's Mom? Where's mom?
What was that? What? What was that? Maybe it was just my imagination. Oh, good day, Squinty. Seems at least you slept well. I... I still can't believe it. Mom disappeared, and... I think it's my fault, too. If only I realized in time how late it was. Squinty, I've got so many questions. People disappearing, leaving no trace behind, how is it even possible? Are they still out there somewhere? Are the monster- And the monster I saw that night, why didn't it take me? The truth is that I don't know anything. But maybe someone in town knows something. Squinty, I've decided what to do next. I want to understand. I'll ask around. I'll start with Dad. Okay, Detective Squinty, let's go. Dad? He's not at home. What's this? Got a message. Good morning, Lucy. I need to help Tom in the field today. I'll be back soon. Please don't go outside alone. And don't worry about dinner. I'll take care of it. I love you, Dad. Yes, this doll is for you. Look after her. Oh. A gift for me. It's so soft. Dad's not here, and I can't go out. It seems that we'll have to reschedule our investigation. someone at the door. Coming! Oh, it's you, Miss Olivia. Hi, darling. How are you feeling? Just help yourself. <laughs> I'm sorry. What a stupid question. I... But don't stay there. Come, see what I brought you. Cookies are still warm. I hope you like them. Where's your dad? He's not at home. I understand. Any idea when he'll be back? No. Oh. Dinner time, I guess? I'm really sorry, darling. It must be so hard for you, now that your mother is no longer here. I still remember the night when she disappeared. How much time has passed? I just wanted to talk with your father about what happened. Excuse me, but did you see her that night? Oh, what? N no, I didn't see anyone. It's just that she was coming to see you. She went out to return your basket. Yes, the basket. I found it in front of the door. That's it. Dad won't be home for a little while. If you want to wait here, we can talk. I wanted to ask you so many things about... Oh, what a nice doll you've got there. Is that a gift from your dad? But of course it is. How lovely. Why don't you go play with your new doll? I'll wait here until he's back. But I wanted to... You know what? I've got a splendid idea. Some tea would be great with these cookies. Yes, dearie. Make us some tea? Good girl. Wacko. I can have more cookies. Uh, oh, I take the saucepan. Where would one find said tea? Maybe in here? This is where Dad keeps the spices. What a mess! What happened here? 
The labels on the spice containers are all messed up. I can't read anything. Oh. Oh boy. Okay. Right click to rotate. And then just drag. Cool. Alright, I'll be right back. I got a jar. Possibly of dirt. Now I can tell what, what's tea and what's chili powder. I mean, if you couldn't really tell that just by looking at it, there may be other issues there. That looks like water. Yay, water. Got hot water. Ouch, it burns. Well, use oven mitts. You got tea and a cup. Thanks, honey. Delicious. What does that mean? It's not the same as your father's, but you definitely are his daughter, darling. Of course, I'm not a kid anymore. I can take care of things. I'm 12. True, true. You're no longer a child. Oh, they grow up so fast. So you can tell me what you needed to tell Dad. Oh, well, but... Why don't you go outside and play, Lucy? Today is a beautiful day. I'll just sit here and sip tea as I wait for your father. Be a good girl. Nothing. I couldn't even convince her with tea. I have to find another way. I have another way! Oh, maybe what that's what that was. It was unlocking, showing me that I can sink to her now. Okay, kids playing ball. Do I have to go through... Hmm, hang on. Maybe... Ah, uh, crap. Okay, hang on. Can I... No, because it'll cross over right here. Dang it. I was thinking I would come this way, down, up, around, loop back right? And then come back through this way, but it would have to cross again. What if I did it opposite? I went this way. No, that's not gonna work either. Because I'd cross this thread either way. talking about going this way, like all the way down here, and then come up this way, 
through here, but you can't get back over there. Oh, yep, this is it. That's gonna do it. was always very reckless. One time, our ball ended up in the forest, and she was so bold she went after it alone. Can you even imagine? Into the forest? She was not afraid of... of them. But she should have been. I've had the impression lately that they were stalking her. Oh my, and I was her best friend. No, no. They must have seen me with your mother so often that... Wait a second, what are you talking about? Lucy, Lucy darling, you... You're afraid of the monsters, right? You never go near the forest, right? You must never do it. They see it when you do. If your mother's been taken, they'll have their eyes on us. Don't go near the forest, Lucy. Sorry, Lucy, I... Wanted to scare the hell out of me? I... I think I know where my father could be. I'll go looking for him. Uh, oh, yes. Okay. Okay. Poppers! Olivia, she scared me. Whenever I try to understand, adults try to scare me off. I don't care. I won't give up. I want to know what happened to Mom. I'll ask around and take notes. I could use Dad's letter to write down clues. I got Lucy's notes. Let the investigation begin. Mom, I'd like to know what happened. I bet you would. Hopper! Hello, Cole. What's wrong? You look sad today. What's with this hat? What? What's that? You don't want me to take it? Cool. I won't take it away if you don't want me to. The woodworker must have lost it. Yeah, he's just thinking about the woodworker. actually a hole back here somewhere? No, apparently not. Hi, old man. Is this the one who's talking shit, or is this a nice one? Hey there, how are you? Keeping myself fit with some hard work. Are you fixing the pipes? Oh, that I am. I used to be a plumber, you know. I just couldn't look at these broken pipes without feeling guilty. That's great! Actually, we haven't been able to get water from the fountain in a very long time. <laughs> Don't worry, kid. When I'm done, you'll have all the water you want. Great! Enjoy it, then. Thanks, kid. I mean, you should be in the field, right? Hi, Sunny. What are you doing? Hi, Sunny. Hi, Lucy. If you're looking for the others, they're all playing by the bench. What are you doing? Mom asked me to prune the plants. They're getting a little out of control. Ah, having fun? Well, the small leaves are tedious, but the big ones, you feel like you're making a lot of progress. It's not bad. Okay, that's not true. It's really boring. But you know how Mom is. Duty first, and duty after. What are you doing around here? 
I'm running an investigation. Mind if I ask you some questions? Sure, go ahead. Um, Mom. You know my mom. I heard. I'm very sorry. How are you? Well, I've been better. No one in my family has ever disappeared, so I can't imagine how you're feeling. But if you need a friend, you know where to find me. Thanks, Sonny. And Lucy? What's up? I know you... You're brave, but... Don't try to go looking for her in the forest. I'm serious. I wouldn't want my best friend taken by the monsters. Sonny, you're the responsible one, not me. Lucy. I'm joking, don't worry. I won't go anywhere. I just want to learn more about the missing people. I know. I understand. Adults, tell, adults don't tell us everything. You've noticed it too? Yes, but I'm sure they do it for our own good. They don't want us to worry. And the same goes for me. Don't make me worry about you. Okay, I won't. Have you ever been to the forest? Of course not. My parents get angry if I'm late for dinner. I can't imagine what they'd do if I went into the forest. I've never been there either. The only one who can go there is the woodworker. You might ask him. However... Asking adults these questions isn't a good idea. They don't like talking about it. Got it. Thank you. What do you know about the monsters? Well, they live in the forest, they roar at night, and kidnap people. Yeah, but like, what do they look like? Well, I imagine them big, ugly, with lots of eyes, and some thick black fur. I think I saw one. You know, the night when my mother... Seriously? Were you scared? It was just for a moment. I ran away immediately. I remember its white mantle and its roar. It must have been horrible. You know, you're the only one I've told this to. Oh, Lucy, you shouldn't tell anyone else. Adults are always freaked out by these stories. I don't know what they would think. They're the ones who told us about the monsters, though. And if they thought it was there to... And if they thought it was there to take you? I don't think it was. It didn't follow me. Imagine their reactions. I don't trust the others, either. We're all too afraid. I wasn't planning on telling the others. Just you. Alright, Lucy. Be careful. I have to go. And I actually do have to go! I <laughs> you like you're enjoying the series. Comment down below. Subscribe to see more. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.